What's going on guys, this is Rick from Urban Cow Gaming, and I'm here to bring another tutorial for you. And in this tutorial I will be covering tier 4 ore processing, which will produce 5 ingots per ore. And as you can see, there's a little bit to it. So, okay, so you'll need some new and old machines for this. And they are pretty late game machines, but by this point you should have pretty good amount of resources. Those machines are going to be the chemical crystallizer, the chemical washer, the chemical dissolution chamber, the ke two chemical infusers, which we've already um, used previously, a rotary condensator, a chemical oxidizer, and a pressurized reaction chamber. Alright, so the first machine is going to be the chemical crystallizer. The chemical crystallizer produces iron crystals. Uh, and they do that from clean iron slurry. Now, clean iron slurry is a gas, so you need pressurized tubes. And that, uh, the clean iron slurry comes from the chemical washer. Now, the chemical washer turns water and dirty iron slurry into clean iron slurry. So, uh, you can either build a new pump for the chemical washer, or you can just, um bring over existing water infrastructure and that water just comes down from the top here and then you need to run more pressurized tubes out and that's this and this is where the chemical dissolution chamber comes in the chemical dissolution chamber is the machine that produces the dirty iron slurry and it produces that from the ore and sulfuric acid so we need a source of sulfuric acid now sulfuric acid is produced in a chemical infuser and is produced with sulfur trioxide and water vapor. So we will just put down our chemical infuser here and run a pressurized cable over to the uh, dissolution chamber. Okay, by default the chemical dissolution chamber is set to receive items through the large port here on the side. Uh, those items being raw ore. So you can do that with just uh, a logistical transporter into a chest. So the process to get water vapor is pretty simple. It's uh, you do that with a rotary condensator. And water vapor is of course a, a gas. You gotta make sure to set the um, condensator to uh, decondensate rather than condensate. When that's done with this toggle up here. And then you have, in some way, water coming into the condensator. Okay, so as you can see, it is uh, turning this water into water vapor, which is then filling this infuser. So now we need a source of the sulfur trioxide, which is produced in another infuser, and that is produced with sulfur dioxide and oxygen. So we're just going to go ahead and run this tube to another chemical infuser. So the oxygen can be done one of two ways. You can, well, one of a few ways. Um, two prominent ways are you can run it from pre-existing infrastructure uh, from earlier on. So we have this electrolytic separator producing ox oxygen and hydrogen. Uh, we can run a, a oxygen tube from here into the machine, or we can just put another electrolytic separator there so let's go ahead and do that. It's important to note we will also need oxygen later on as well, so it might be worth it to just put another electrolytic separator. Uh, it's entirely up to how you have things configured. So now we need a source of sulfur dioxide. And that is produced by putting sulfur through a chemical oxidizer. So the chemical oxidizer is an item input, so we will use the logistical transporter for it, and that will, and the sulfur in turn is produced by putting coal through a pressurized reaction chamber. Now the pressurized reaction chamber actually needs all six inputs to function properly. The way the pressurized reaction chamber works is it turns coal into sulfur dust, 
with oxygen and water and produces hydrogen as a byproduct. You cannot dump the hydrogen, so you need a, a way to get it out of the machine. So let's set that up. Since we just built a source of oxygen, let's just go ahead and pull that into the machine. And then we will have a logistical transporter going into the coal chest. So realistically, coal is the only thing you need to get. You can use charcoal as well. So let's just throw some charcoal in there. And of course we need to pull in the water as well. And then we will have the hydrogen come out through the back. So now we might need to do some configuration here. So uh, the back will be an output for gas. So as you can see, once it hits uh, 1,000, it will start producing sulfur, which will then go into the rest of the machine's network. Okay, so as you can see, the sulfuric acid is being put into the chemical dissolution chamber. So if we grab an iron ore now, can throw that in there. And there you have it. So that's going to do it for this episode. I want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Hey, did you know we're streaming Minecraft Valhalsia over on twitch.tv slash urbancowgaming? Well, you do now, and I'll be working with a lot of mechanisms, so if you want to come see the process live, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, I, I assume other people will be working on other mods, or maybe not, I don't know yet. But yeah, it's something worth checking out, so uh, I want to thank you again for watching. This has been Urban Cow Gaming, and we'll see you next time. Bye.